Hi guys, I'm Wendy Irene. Welcome. Thank you for joining me for your weekly oracle reading. This is going to be for October 10th through 16th and the 16th uh, is a full moon. So I just want you to keep that in mind if um, you're feeling some intense energy still. One of these days it's going to pick up. <laughs> but um, when I looked up this full moon, it was called stormy seas. So the best thing you can do is to be aware of that. Um, so that you can try not to get caught up in it and try and stay focused on love. Um, and the full moon is, I, I'm very sensitive to the moon energy and especially it affects me usually a couple days before it affects most people. So um, you might be feeling a little bit irritable or for me I can't sleep on <laughs> full moon. Um, and you just... The best thing you can do is try not to get caught up in your ego and try to keep focusing on love um, in all of your relationships. And also, the full moon is a great time if you started a project to really fine tune any projects that you're working on. So, okay, this week I am going to, oh shoot, I forgot. Sorry, couldn't find it. I am going to be working with the daily guidance from your angels. This is a new deck that I just opened and I haven't used before, but felt really called to use it. So let's see what the message is for this week. I'm just going to shuffle the cards and pray. And I would love for you to pray with me. And don't worry about with praying the time thing because really time is just here on earth. So your prayer in the now impacts this reading that I'm doing for you. So please do go ahead and pray alongside me. Okay, now I'm going to see which card wants to come up for us. Okay, this card says, notice the signs. Yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you are loved and never alone. There are signs everywhere, and I would say that one of the biggest ways of becoming more psychic, if that's what you're interested in, is really paying attention to everything. You just want to be an open receiver to everything around you. What do you hear? What do you feel? What are you seeing? Is there any images popping in your head? Um, I know for me personally, a huge way to receive messages is music. I listen to the words, what music comes on, and I listen to the words and the messages, and my intuition automatically knows what the message is. You know, it could be one line from the song, and it could be the line is telling me something. Um, so listen to music and uh, also just pay attention to everything. Always, no matter where you are, what are you seeing? Is there a certain bird that you're seeing? Um, is Do you walk by something and feel a certain way? Do you smell something that reminds you of something? Pay attention to absolutely everything. There are always signs and you always have angels with you and the more you can pay attention to these signs, the better you'll get at receiving divine guidance. Um, and there's lots of ways to receive guidance. You can get signs. You can also meditate and hear the guidance or feel the guidance. Um, but I really encourage you just to be an open channel because once you get in the flow of grace, you never want to be out of it because it is the most amazing place to be. And stars align and magical things happen. And I really want that for you. So this week, really pay attention to all signs everywhere, okay? And I hope you have a really good week. If you like this video, please do share it and come over to givelovecreatehappiness.com and sign up for email updates and sign up for this YouTube channel. Thanks, guys. See you next time.